Hey, hey guys, uh, hello from San Antonio, Texas. I finally arrived here. This is my ninth day on the road. Today I spent it over at uh, Leo's house of the Leo and Dan Ryan channel. And um, a couple of videos were recorded as they usually do on every other Wednesday. And I partook in number one and here is a couple of excerpts from it where I get my gift apparently and um, I get to play a little bit of rhythm along with uh, Dan. So thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. Catch us in the next one. Enjoy this. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here today with our friend Two Bike Mike McKinnon from Canada who's Hi. come down to visit Leo and, you. and me. Uh, and uh, before we get to the guitar, we have a little uh, presentation to, to make to Mike, which is uh, a few weeks back, I can't exactly remember, three maybe, uh, we reviewed the, the Squire uh, Starcaster. Classic Vibe. Classic Vibe Starcaster, which is more expensive than the regular Stry Squire Starcaster. Uh, and... Uh, Leo has decided to make a present of, it, present of it to Mike, and here it is. So, Mike, uh, with our with our regards, uh, oh, happy uh, new guitar day. Thank you Mike. very much. And uh, very much. Mike was aware of it. He sent the gig bag, but uh, oh, okay. but we figured he'd come over here and break the headstock off of it. And we're doing the best we can to prevent it. Uh, so it was a nice save, by the way. Yeah, uh, it's like a switchblade when I opened that up. <laughs> yeah, came right out there. Well, keep that in mind uh, when you get back to Canada with it. This is um, this is heavier than the one that I bought, uh, the one that isn't this uh, style with the wide range humbuckers in it. The one that I didn't like that I sent back. This one is heavier, um, much better built. Yeah, well... The vibe is much better built. Yeah, well, the price was... The retail price, I think, was almost twice what the regular one was. Four twenty nine is what uh, uh, the normal price for the classic vibe is. I think it's either four twenty nine or four forty nine, and I was able to get this used like new for the same price as a regular uh, yeah, well, Starcaster that two ninety nine. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, uh, it was a. It is like new. A steal. Yeah. It, it still had gun. it still had styrofoam on it, and there was no styrofoam in the box. So, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's something of an odd duck, but it's a very nice guitar. Yeah. Um, but somebody asked me, uh, uh, one of our comments is this guitar gigable, and I said, well, uh, yes, uh, as long as you understand, you know, what you're getting, uh, you know, because it does have a very uh, Distinctive uh, tone and sound, uh, but it's certainly usable. So, yeah. Uh, Insert scene from Heartbreak Ridge. <laughs> Heartbreak Ridge. Yeah. You'll see when the video comes out. First time I saw these headstocks, <laughs> it, it reminded me of a like a hatchet. Sweet, you wanna, sweet. You sweet. want to chop something <laughs> with that, like. If somebody gets out of, out, of, out of hand, you can just give them a, a yeah. whack with yeah. that. And it's like, yeah, it, it's a weapon. Like I said, it's something of an odd duck. The headstock <laughs> being one of the odd things about it. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it ended up playing very well, sounded good. So, uh, and uh, it's yours now, Mike, so uh, uh, play it in good health. Thank you. I see they. They did the same thing on this one as they do on a lot of them. They bent the bracket a little bit wrong, and the screw that holds this thing in, they they they, they push it into the into the finish, mm. and they pit it. Well, those bastards. Those, those bastards. <laughs> those, those bastards. Dirty bastards. <laughs> three three old uh, duffers. This one, I think. We might would be uh, getting old enough for overkill here. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, today we're... Thank you very much, guys. Uh, 
You're very welcome, Mike. Appreciate it very much. And, and uh, in a moment, we're going we're gonna to attempt to play something together. Uh, hey, folks, Dan Ryan here with our uh, friend and guest, uh, Two Bike Mike McKinnon, from all the way from Canada. And uh, we just gave Mike this uh, Squire Affinity. No, Squire, Classic Vibe. Classic Vibe, I'm sorry. Uh, Starcaster uh, as, a, as a gift. Well, Leo gave it to him because he's the one who purchased the guitar. Oh, can I ask if I come back tomorrow, can I get another one? <laughs> <laughs> you can ask all you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <coughs> please, please, please. <coughs> uh, but if you ask too much, we're able to take that one back. <clears throat> but we'll get to you again tomorrow oh, if we okay, feel okay. like it. Give it back tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Right. Well, uh, I'm liable to have a sneezing fit here. Hopefully that. I'm going to try to control myself. Mind well, over matter. And Mind I, you over know matter. I always ask you to do that. Yes, I know. It, Mind over matter. It's not matter. just about sneezing, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, Mike and I went over a little chord progression, uh, and uh, so we're just we're going to play a little bit of that for you. So uh, here we go. And I don't play chord progressions very often, so <clears throat> forgive me if I screw it up. Me first. That's what I always say when I you know, when I perform. Forgive me if I screw. <laughs> the audience just loves. It. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, if you don't mind. Get a rope. Sounds okay through the end. Um, so uh, we are going to stop one more time and make sure I'm in tune again, and we'll play a little track for you. Be right back. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 